Hey, uh, this is Tilak. Welcome back to one more tutorial from uh, uh, TCS, Total Compensation Treatment. Uh, today also we are going to create item, but we are going to create a different item. This is part of a series of uh, tutorial from uh, TCS. If you haven't looked at my previous tutorial, please go and see that because this is just a continuation of whatever we are doing. It. Uh, out of all these things, we have seen uh, like, you know, uh, uh, six uh, types uh, in our previous um, item types, how to create the, these item types in our previous uh, tutorials. Today, what we are going to see here is external data. Let me explain you what is external data is. Okay, external data is a provision, a option in that a compensation is not only a TCS, the entire compensation, uh, especially CWP and the TCS, uh, allow a customer to upload a data from outside. Either it could be a different uh, uh, systems or like, you know, or they are trying to migrate from somewhere else to Oracle, whatever way. They can upload a data from a outside system to that Oracle uh, compensation and the data can be used. You can use the data loader and the different methods to upload the, the large volume of the data. Then the data can be used to process in a TCS or a other compens uh, compensation modules. Uh, we don't get into the detail of everything. We just uh, like you know have a glimpse of what is external data is. The external data basically allow yeah, 50 columns where you can uh, load a, a monetary or a, like, you know, uh, non-monetary data. And the data are basically are loaded on the basis of the types. The types can be created. It can be customized or can be created. Now, what we do here is we look at the how to create, like, you know, look at the external data screen or the, the, uh, the entry data entry part. Then we see how we can create a different uh, lookup types and all the stuff. We look at that. Okay, now how do we go into the external data? The same thing, like whatever TCS uses that, it has got an option within their uh, module, then you don't have to navigate to somewhere else to see that. Let me get into that uh, conversation. And in the end, if you see that there's external data, there is a, uh, external data. Let me search for that external, yeah, external data is here. Now the external data is the data is loaded either for a person or a personal assignment. So let me look a person here or somebody. Let me look. Okay, the person is not having a data because you need a person name or some information to look that. Uh, let me see whether we go by a uh, legal employer GB, GB, GBI. We need to GBI United Kingdom. I'm not seeing by United States. Anyway, I'll create a data, okay, that, that's better rather than like, you know, looking at that. Or I do, what I do here is, what I do, data from a uh, SE application. And you, yes, plus it works. Okay, it is the data has appeared here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so basically what has happened here, the record type, that's what the, the lookup type I was talking about that. You can have a one more like, like another. So by default, they have given a two record type legacy application or a third party suppliers. Okay, both as kind of data. Okay, now the data are very created for a person and that uh, record types. Then you can have a what is the date, then you can also have a end date and then all the information. I'll create one for you so that would be easier. So person is uh, Tabby Finley. 
then what is the employer this is uh, some cases optional there are there are way you can make it like you know the legal employers and the job basically determines your assignment and in some cases it is required then you can choose the record type uh say like you know i put a, a legacy application that is fine to me then you can see when is it is starting uh say like january 1st of uh, 2024 that is the year here then you can see what is the sequence and what is the currency the currency is not option is not necessarily you have to give it okay right let's that's serious okay us dollar and you can say one to fifty column you can go on and enter that well, almost like you know say okay 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 this is you can have a, like more than one column like you know say 200 I can, like that you can have a whatever way you want to do that you can have a column this is you can either you can enter mostly this is used for uploading a data like you can't go on entering the data so this is how it is Okay, now let me save and close. Uh, sorry, we just came out of it. That I didn't expect. Okay, uh, external data, tabby. Okay, now let me have the data here. Okay, this is the data here. Uh, now, how this uh, lookup type is created that I'll show you. Like you, know, you can have your own lookup types. Like if, if the two is not enough, you want to have a customized lookup type, you can do that. Let me go on here. Uh, the same way here, there's a lookup. See, CMP external, I think it's an account. okay yeah external data record type you have it too now let me create a one more for you see you have to have a lesson uh record from three like you know say one one two thousand thousand sorry there's one more zero say like a 12 31 20 c 90 something like that okay now see lesson testing record assume that okay you can have a, all this information you can have it okay save make sure it is saved enabled okay save and close now i'm cancelling it Sometimes yes, I don't know. Okay. Okay, now I'm going back to my compensation. I am going to the uh, external data. I'm looking for the tabby. Tabby. Okay, now let me go and create Tabby. Tabby. Same legal employer, same, he's only one job is the Now I can choose, see the lesson target type. So when you extract the data, you extract for a particular record and a particular column value. So whatever data is lying within your date, that will maybe comes out of extract. I mean, comes out of our TCS. I'll say, okay, this is basically that this is a unique, the, the sequence number, record type, the person and assignment is a unique. So you don't, I can have a one here also, I can have here. Okay. Do I have a USD? Yes, I have a USD. I see I'm making a thousand, two thousand, and three thousand. Okay, this is how you create a external data.
now save and close now let us go to tcs item i'm creating item okay lesson external data lesson type okay this is just to like you know make it column one so basically i'm creating external data for social type external external data then it says what is the type i'm saying lesson testing record you can choose whatever the type is which column information you want it so now you are telling what kind of record is come out of it if it's not monetary you have to give a if it's i say monetary okay then you have to give a currency like if it is a non-monetary then you have to give a the unit now what is happening here is uh, that in, ca in case of it is monetary you are giving usd here but the data says some say chinese like you know yuan or inr then basically that is what get the precedence the preference if that there is no unit then it takes that whatever that uh, unit you are defining here it will be taken here the date okay date it check the data if the data is not a date then it throws the error okay now i'm making it monetary here i say inr I say it did rupees something like that. Then is estimated value here. Okay, I'm saving here. Here I'll do a testing it like you know just to to prove the point here. Uh, validation by period. Okay, one one twenty twenty four twenty four to twelve thirty one twenty twenty four. A uh, tab is a person. Now I'm validating the data. So you got the entry USD. Though it is a UNR, you get the USD because the data, whatever the data is gives is takes a precedence. This is how the data will appear here. Okay, I'm saving it. Okay, now I just change the record type to legacy. Save. Okay, now test external data uh, validate by period 1 12 1 20 24 validate again so you get the different amount EST is from that okay that's it all about the external uh, data in TCS items if you have any questions comments please let me know till I see you in our next lesson